G'day at AMCA. We're here with Natalia Durush uh, from the University of Luxembourg talking about the application of conversation analysis to uh, English as a lingua franca in multilingual classrooms. So Natalia, um, what kind of research are you doing? Um, so I'm part of, a, I'm a research associate in a um, research project um, which is entitled Fundamental English and which deals with English as a second language in, in multilingual contexts. So we have, Luxembourg is, is, a, is a specific multilingual, multilingual context because we have a few languages in the school that are being taught and that are being used. And English comes, um, comes above all that. So we have English, we have French, we have German, we have Luxembourgish at least, and we have other languages as well. Mm -hmm. um, so English comes, comes in this context and we are interested in seeing how English is constructed in this specific, specific context of Luxembourg. In, in different schools, English in public school for example, or English in a, in a European school. How is, English, how is English constructed by the students and by the teachers in this specific environment? And so how do you use conversation analysis to, to do this research? Um, so we started by, by collecting data. In, in classrooms in Luxembourg, uh, we have a data set collected in, in a public school and, and another, another set of data collected in the European school. Then the data gets transcribed and we analyze it, uh, analyze it using a conversation analysis uh, as methodology. So, so what sort of stuff have you found with conversation analysis um, about, about this uh, data? Um, one thing that we, we were looking at is the learner actions. So, what does the learner do in, what does the student learner or use of the language is the way, the way we position, position uh, the student. Um, what do they do as actions and what can we see as, as initiation of actions from, from the student's perspective. Of course we have looked at, at the teacher as well but for the moment we were focusing on that. Um, there, is, uh, there is literature on, on, on teacher uh, actions, there is literature on learner actions. We were focusing on a specific action initiated by, by the students which we named Turning Out, mm -hmm. and which is this, we, we described and we analyzed as a um, uh, self-initiated action uh, done by the student um, who self-selects the teacher as, as, the next, uh, as the next speaker in the interaction. Okay, and, and how is this sort of research useful for actual teachers um, in the classroom? Um, so what happens after, after the end of the data collection, after the data gets analysed, we go back to, to the classrooms and we go back to, to the teachers and uh, first of all we have a feedback session with, with the students and we tell them a little bit about our findings, what we see in the data, we show them a little bit of the data and we discuss it with them. So they, they, are, they are there to, to listen to, to what we have done and in, which, um, in a way to, to show them what the reason of us being there for, for a few weeks in the classroom. So it's not just going there, having the data, getting the data, and then, again, then disappearing, mm. but sharing what, what we find um, with the participants, first of all. Mm -hmm. so these are the students in the classroom. And secondly, the, the teacher of the classroom and the teacher of the, of the school environment. So we have collaborative sessions with them. Mm -hmm. uh, we sit together, we take a piece of data, and then we collaboratively discuss what is it? How do we look at it? How do we transcribe it? What does it, uh, a piece of, of transcription mean? What are the conventions used? And, and how do we work with it? Now, this is, this is the way we, we move towards them. So from, from a researcher perspective, moving towards the, towards the practitioners. But while we, a second phase that, that we have is that we invite them to come towards us. So it, this would be a, a second part of the process where we invite them to be part of, of what we do as a university in, you know, in a different, the school is the school where we collect the data and then the university mm -hmm. is the university when the research happens. So um, one of the things that we do with them is that we invite them to come to our data sessions. Mm -hmm. We're having, um, uh, so the DECA lab, the, the research lab that I am in, uh, directed by Charles uh, Max and Gudrun Ziegler, we organize uh, data sessions regularly. So we invite them to come and be, be part, take part in our data sessions and see how we do things and they do that. Secondly, we invited them to come to the webinars organized by, by our lab. The webinars are part of a European project on language learning and media. And it means that they can come to, to, to the classrooms in the university building or they can sit at home and just connect 
and, and still follow the discussion, put in their type in their questions and, and still be a participant. So from, from a distance, online or, or face to face. It's, it's their choice the way the way they do that. Um, then And do they um, get to use this, this research in their um, everyday in the classrooms as well? I mean how how does it feed back into their day to day with the children? Yeah, we have, we we discussed that with them, and uh, one of the one of the examples that they gave us was that they start using more media um, oriented activities. Mm -hmm. So the fact that uh, it's not only pen and paper, it's not only writing, it's it's it's, it's more than that. So we use different different um, activities. To, 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 the activities are constructed differently, I think, once they start reflecting on on things. They use different media devices, and then they they, they, they put them online, like pod, uh, podcasts. Mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah, they, they, another reflection was a second reflection that we had with them was on what does the writing do in the classroom? Because traditionally, you you give students an activity, a task, and you ask them to write down stuff or to produce stuff that is reported then in, in a new written format. Um, and when, then we discussed, there's always this literature and conversation analysis on what is conversation and, and what does it do. And then once writing comes into an activity, how does this change the activity? Mm -hmm. So we had, we had a discussion on, on that as well. So we were reflecting a little bit on how much writing do we have, how much conversation, a task conversation only, or task with, com with conversation and writing as well do we have in the classroom. Okay, sounds fascinating. Thank yes. you very much, Natalia. Thank you.